I've criticised again and again Keir Starmer for not producing any proper red meat for the electorate. But I think John McTernan, former political secretary to Tony Blair, he might just have done something today. I think this is, as Lee said... A you look very happy. Of course. <laughs> um, and as you said in your introduction, yeah. it's so simple. Mm. People know what they'll get, which is no increase. And that relieves so many people. I think I've met so many people, you must have, who are starting to worry how could they pay all their bills and people don't want to not pay bills. So this is put the weights on the energy companies and the energy companies apparently have only got friends in the two leadership candidates in the Tory party who don't want to increase the windfall tax, who don't want to get money from the energy companies uh, to help pay for this. So, yeah, I think Keir Starmer is driving the agenda now and um, it really is over till is now. Yeah, I mean, Gordon Brown's idea was to do it all through the benefit system, which yeah. looked, to me, desperately complicated. Mm, now, yeah. I've full marks for simplicity, but the idea that you actually disincentivize companies to reinvest in the mm. North Sea, that doesn't make any sense, John, does it? Well, the North Sea is going through a big change. We have got lots of miners coming in to take over from the majors. Um, I don't think this will inhibit the forward planning. I think everybody in the energy companies knows they've been making windfalls and they want to give it back. In, in 2020, wanna... some of them lost quite a lot of money. But over the... Uh, yeah, in the pandemic, lots of people lost money. Um, but now they're going to have to play, play their part in making sure that the voters get through Christmas, get through winter, and not worried. And let's hope this makes the, the hit on uh, inflation that, that it looks like it could make. And let's hope that actually we do open up some of the other forms of uh, fuel that we could be using. I'm, I'm with Lee and probably with you. I'm for fracking. I think mm. there's all kinds of ways we could get uh, domestic energy going, but I'm also for, for, for onshore wind. So I think what we have to have is a dash for a whole, whole set of things, insulation, other forms of energy. But for today, this is Keir's day. Is this the start of a more decisive Keir Starmer? Mm -hmm. Or is it just Keir Starmer's nicked a great policy of the Red Daily of the Liberal Democrats and on all the other things, such as supply, about which he said nothing today? You know, is it the same old Keir Starmer, or does this mark a step change? So I, I think, and I've said, uh, I think about Keir, and I've said to you before, he spent the first two years clearing up the Corbyn mess, the Corbyn legacy, that terrible defeat in 2019. And he's like a great politician. He's made his luck. He's got to this point. And he's now, it's the next, second half of this, uh, of, of, of this parliamentary term for him, is what's the vision? He's given us a big idea here. I'm expecting more big ideas at the Labour Party conference. I think because this is the conference you've got to show these are our ideas for, and in 2023 we'll campaign on them, and in 2024 you'll get a vote on them. So this bodes well for the thinking that's going on. Well, on the front it's bench. one idea. Nah. I mean, no, 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 no. I, listen, I'm giving credit. One swallow, uh, but it might well be something. No, he seized the initiative mm -hmm. for today and probably actually for the next few days. Oh, yeah, I think until, until Liz, Liz Truss, who I think we all assume is going to be the next Prime Minister, until she comes up with something solid, this idea now defines the response to the energy crisis. But, yeah, well, it may, it may provide short-term relief for the terrible fear that millions have got mm. about their bills. But what it doesn't do is anything <clears throat> for supply. And it's very interesting, and I would criticise both parties mm. on this, head in the sands, I think they've both pursued terrible energy policies over the last few decades. We actually face the prospect, John McTernan, of the lights going out in well, February. I mean, and he's, as yet, had nothing to say on this. To, yeah, to, be, to, be, to be fair to both sides, uh, since, the, since 2006, 2007, there's been bipartisan support for nuclear power, but Fukushima really messed up the financing uh, of power. And it's been very hard to get an alternative financing model and to get people to come in and actually build the reactors here. I think nuclear is a huge part of the future. I think renewables. But I think Keir Starmer said this morning, he's been saying through the day, home insulation for the, the 11 million households who actually uh, have got poor insulation in their homes. That's jobs for workers. That's jobs for people in Leeds constituency. And it's lower bills per permanently in Leeds constituency as well. So I think we have to see more of those ideas coming out too, where there are win-win-win. At but at the moment, Keir must be happy tonight. Final thought. What are we going to hear from Sir Keir on the Channel Migrant Crisis? Uh, well, if I was advising him, I would say straightforward, all processing should happen in France. Processing, quick decisions. If, you're, if you have the right to be in Britain, come to Britain. If you don't, well, you're still in France. Be very interesting to see what he does. John McTernan, thank you very much indeed for coming in. And yes, 
you can tell Labour today are really very happy. So we'll give them their moment in the sun, because at least they've had something to say. But whether it actually deals, genuinely deals, with any of the real problems, I'm not so sure.